Orioles hosting the Rockies, and the Rockies are plus 245 on the money line. The Orioles are minus 300. The over-under, eight and a half runs. The Rockies getting a run and a half on the run line are plus 114, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Orioles laying a run and a half on the run line are minus 137, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by two runs. Now, I imagine that if you actually do want to bet this game because there is no value, you're going to have to look for... Some of these really funky special like uh, run line odds or reverse run line odds. Flexen pitched twice against Baltimore last year as a member of the Mariners. Five innings, three runs, three earned. They won that game seven to six in ten innings. That was in Baltimore. He struck out three. Six innings, three runs, three earned. They won that game nine to three in Seattle. He struck out three. They're two and three in his five starts. The Rockies, he's averaging five innings pitched and 5.2 strikeouts per game in those games the over is four and one in his last five starts he's got an era of uh 3.6 the rockies are two and three and he's got an um he's averaging five innings pitched one earned run five strikeouts one home run 85 pitches four earned runs six strikeouts one home run 83 pitches five earned runs four strikeouts two home runs 106 pitches three earned runs two strikeouts two home runs 72 pitches Five earned runs, four strikeouts, two home runs, 75 pitches. So it kind of makes sense of why the Orioles are as heavy as they are because he's given up a home run in every one of his last five starts and multiple home runs in three out of those games. Bradish didn't pitch against the Rockies either last year or this year. The Orioles have won his last four starts. They're seven and three in his last 10. He's averaging six innings pitched and 6.2 strikeouts per game in those games. In the game that they played today, the Orioles won 5-4, and the previous series that they played was a three-game set in Colorado in 2019, and the Rockies took two out of those, two out of three of those games, winning 8-6, then losing 9-6, then winning 8-7. This is a different Orioles team and a different Rockies team, but if you're looking for a game that actually has some value, Flexen didn't pitch awful against the Orioles. It's just that he hasn't been pitching well lately, so this is the kind of double-edged sword that you have to weigh. Is it worth taking a shot at him at plus 245 and if he wins, he wins, but you don't throw a big bet down on him? Or are you just going to lay 300 and say that the Orioles are going to win this game because Bradish has been doing so well? I'm going to go on the fence here and say that the Rockies take this game. I just don't know why. I'm going to take the Rockies with the money line. I'm going to take the Rockies getting the runs and I'm going over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.